Where will this magazine be in 20 years? Will I be able to hold it in my hand and read it before I go to bed at night? You know, I... In this form? I think you will, but I also hear from people who have played with the iPad that, that that's a very cool thing. And if you have a story in whatever is, you know, whatever the new digital device is that we will probably all have next to our beds, you know, in a few years, if that allows you, when there's a story that you're interested in, to go as deep into it as you want, to read as much about it as you want, or to move on to the next story, when you have that much um, power of choice over it, I think that's going to be great for us. You know, the, the one problem with, with the internet for journalists who like doing long form is that any story that's going to involve 16 screens on, on the web page is, it's, that's asking a lot of people. But the, these devices that are designed to read books on, you certainly can imagine people being happy to read three and four and five thousand word long form journalism stories on. So I think actually their promises to be a renaissance of the kind of serious investment journalism and storytelling that, you know, we all love to do. But how will journalists be compensated if people don't want to pay for content on the web? There was a recent Pew study on, uh, with its project for excellence in jur journalism, only 7% of Americans say they're willing to pay for online news. And most say if their favorite news provider puts up a paywall, they're just going to go somewhere else. I think that what that misses is that at a time when so many news organizations have been shutting down their bureaus and curtailing their news gathering, we're getting to a point where there are likely to be fewer and fewer sources of, of reliable, authoritative news, and therefore the value and the, the premium people may be willing to pay for those goes up. I would like to see every newspaper and every uh, magazine have a network of bureaus all over the world gathering news. Maybe we'll return to that day. But at the moment where you're seeing such a contraction, I think what that does is put a real premium on, on authority and quality and, and rigor and, and organizations that are still investing in their, their sort of informational infrastructure. You hope so, right? Maybe this, you know, it may be wishful thinking, but, but I also think I have enormous faith in the, the genius of entrepreneurs in, in our business, in, the, in technology, in electronics companies, that they will figure this out, that, that, that people's desire for not just information, but for stories. And I and distinguish for, between them. For accuracy and for and accuracy. And for integrity. Is, you know, that that isn't going away. And so I think figuring out a, a way to deliver it that suits people and that they are willing to pay for, we've seen how that happened in the music business. Um, Hollywood studios are facing this. It's, it is such a big question across so many industries, <coughs> and a lot of very big brains are figuring it out. I, you know, I'm not feeling you know, apocalyptic about the future of our business at this point.